Hi, this is Les Walkling, and welcome to this short presentation on black and white variants. The original colour image can be converted into black and white by combining various proportions of red, green and blue light into a single grayscale channel. Here I'm using Photoshop's black and white tool with its default conversion. And while this rendering might be you know, just fine for some images, on other occasions a completely different rendering may be preferred. For example, this is the high contrast blue filter preset. This is the green filter preset. And here is the yellow filter preset. This is a customized orange red filter rendering. In this way, black and white renderings can be optimized for specific images and specific areas of an image. For example, the high contrast blue filter increases separation of the dark blue flagstones in the foreground. A simple hand-drawn layer mask isolates and adds this effect to our base black and white rendering. The green filter adds extraordinary luminosity and presence to the boat and, and its reflection, almost as if someone has trained a searchlight on it. The yellow filter heightens the luminosity of the figure and gives it a sense of contemplative gentleness. The custom orange red filter enhances the separation and mood of the sky and the boat's sails. These localised black and white variants combined through layer masking produce a remarkable transformation of the image. Or we might discover through interactive experimentation a particular black and white rendering that best conveys another area. For example, the red rocks. The Alt Merge Visible command merges this custom rendering into a new layer, which can be repositioned at the top of the layer stack. The base black and white rendering can then be reset, and the new layer can be masked into those areas of the image that will most benefit, such as the red rocks. Grouping all the black and white variants together and turning them off and on illustrates how we have combined the various mixes of red, green and blue light into a single black and white rendering, which is also quite a remarkable transformation of the original image. I hope this short presentation has been both informative and inspiring, and I wish you all the best with your adventures in photography.